All right, guys, for this project, we're starting with a 1995 Chevy CK. This is a 4.3 liter V6 truck, all stock. We got with 150,000 miles on it for only 2,000 bucks. Let's get this thing going. We brought it out here to Full Pin Fabrication in Ocala, Florida. Go ahead and back this thing in. We're gonna start tearing it apart. We're gonna do this project on the floor using floor jacks and jack stands just to show that you don't need a lift to do a massive modification like this. All right, big project for today. We got this 95 Chevy CK bone stock, super clean truck, V6. This is gonna be our big project for the summer. It's gonna be called Project Pre-K Back to Basics. We're gonna be doing some really cool sport truck stuff on this using a bunch of advertisers of ours. Ride Tech is the one, number one. We're gonna go with their full wishbone coilover suspension. Really, really unique install. Gonna take the bed off, do C-notch, all that kind of stuff. We're here at Full Pin Fabrication in Ocala, Florida. Our man Dallas is gonna walk us through all the steps of getting this done. We're gonna bolt on some 22-inch American Racing Nova wheels, stagger fit front and back, pro performance, big brake upgrades. It's gonna be a really, really cool truck, and we got some other secrets that might be going under the hood a little later, but we'll have to keep you uh, teasing for that one. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna do it all today. We'll show everything to you guys, and uh, let's get Ride Tech's new coilover wishbone suspension system for 88 to 98 Chevy CK trucks includes everything you need to swap out that factory suspension for these new coilover wishbone setup. Let's get this thing going. First thing we gotta do is remove the tailgate in the bed. To remove the bed, you just have to take out the six factory body mount bolts underneath the bed as well as the screws around the gas filler neck. And then you can simply use a friend to lift the bed off and set it aside. We're going to need to cut some of that underneath on the later on. The factory frame, you can tell, is pretty rusty and dingy. But we're going to remove all this old stuff, clean it up, sand it really good, and paint it black before we bolt it all back together. First thing we have to do is take off the shocks and the leaf springs. We're going to go ahead and leave the axle attached to the drive shaft so we're going to put it on jack stands right afterwards so we don't have to mess around with it or remove it. Now with the shocks removed we can take out the leaf spring bolts and they'll simply slide out with the axle staying in place. Using the supplied paper template, Dallas marked the C-notch location and used the cutoff wheel to slice the frame. Before the new structured brackets can go in, he took the time to coat the frame to avoid any future rusting. Next, a few C-clamps are there to hold the Ride Tech notch in place while he drills out the holes and bolts in the new hardware. Everything we need is included in the kit, saving you trips to the hardware store. The notches are reinforced in multiple planes to maintain structural integrity while improving the frame to axle. The final pieces to install are the lower coilover mounting brackets as well as the lower links with patented Ride Tech R joints on the advanced rod end design. This allows long service life with zero binding and no noise. These AZ Pro Performance brakes are pretty impressive as well. Disc brake conversion for the rear. Everything bolts right up, no custom modifications, brackets and everything are included. Ride Tech's coilovers utilize a single tube cartridge known as a mono tube. The design features significantly larger piston area which in turn provides more responsive dampening than a twin tube shock. Alright, after a few cuts on the bottom of the bed we can go ahead and slide the bed back over and drop it on and see how it looks with the new wheels and tires. The front of the truck is next on the list. To make things easy, we just simply unbolted the lower control arms, the factory sway bar, and the steering linkage and slid the front end out as one massive unit. With an empty wheel well, we're ready to bolt in the new upper and lower control arm. To put the coilovers together, it's very simple. You just mount all the pieces, slide them down, get them in place. You don't need to finally adjust them until they're in the truck. You put the springs on, put the retainer clips in, and slide it into the truck.
The coilover is simply bolt into the new lower control arms and the factory upper shock mount. But to put the spindle on, you will have to make some slight adjustments. This is so the AZ Pro Performance brakes can apply their new caliper bracket. With that complete, we can install the new spindle and hook up the tie rod ends. Our choice for wheel and tires is a American Racing 22 inch stagger fit Nova wheels along with 255 35 22 and 245 30 22 Nitto tires. Just check out how smooth this thing rides on the new Ride Tech coilovers and wishbone suspension. The final thing we need to adjust is the final ride height along with the alignment. The system is designed to do full track racing or street driving and you can tell that these American racing wheels look amazing when they're spinning. Alright guys, so now that you can see how simple this install can be, go ahead and jump on RideTech.com, pick the individual pieces and parts that you want for your system and place your order. Do not be afraid to jump onto this yourself, have a couple friends over, crank some wrenches and get going. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for what else we have for this amazing project truck. Until next time, street trucks, see you guys later.